1936. Where I grew up, there was really nothing there to inspire a young artist. It created a negative impression on me until I took a trip to Fish Lake with my father. Two little towns on the way excited me. They offered a fresh new point of view. There was a particular house, a little cottage half hidden by willow trees that I liked to watch out for when my father and I drove toward that town. I don't know what there was about it, but it held an interest for me I've not forgotten. I didn't ever know whose house it was. I don't think I cared about that. I just cared about the house. During my childhood, there was the discovery of three subjects that have stayed with me. Sagebrush across the plains or covering the hills, old unkempt barns, and that house in the trees. That little house gave an impression of a peculiar isolation and indescribable loneliness. The death of my mother, brothers, and younger sister when I was young contributed to my feelings of loneliness. Throughout my life, I've desperately yearned to put that feeling down in paint. LeConte Stewart The predominant theme in all of Stewart's paintings is loneliness. When he was a child, several of his closest family members died within a three-year period. Though his father survived and began a new family, Stewart never shook these feelings of seclusion and abandonment, which he carried over into his paintings. To underscore the feeling of desertion of this property, Stewart used cool colors, blues and violets, and chose the late winter season when the trees were bare and skeletal, with patches of cold blue snow scattered among the brown grasses. Can you find other elements in the composition that evoke the feeling of loneliness that he tried to put down in paint? Mm -hmm. 